Hey guys, Sergeant News here, bringing you another gameplay on Reach. Today we're playing on Hemorrhage. I call it Blood Gulch. Um, this game, as it was 15 minutes long, I decided to use the magic of uh, Halo Reach's theater mode to make my job in uh, commentating it uh, a lot easier. I mean, talk 15 minutes straight about how to win on a map that, you know, there's only like two, there's sections how to win, like there's only the one way to win on the map, kind of thing. but uh, on that I picked up a nice double kill um, of my friends, so, well what happened there was my friend took, did enough damage to the walk to flip it out and make it a one shot, so I fired one snap shot and uh, took the kill from away from him. Really a bit of a, um, like a noobish move I would say, um, right now I'm fast forwarding it because I although I have the sniper, I'm not doing particularly well. My friend's getting chased down by like three guys. <laughs> but uh, anyway, my sniper picks up in this game. Okay, how to win on a hemorrhage? There is only one like way to win on a hemorrhage. You need to have a tank, a sniper, a good tank driver, a good sniper. You win. There is no other way to win in Hemorrhage, you can't just use the Revenants, you can't just use the Warthogs or the Plasma Launcher. You need those two things to win. If you don't have either, you're not going to win the game. It's simple. Now right here is where I start to uh, pick up with my sniper rifle. Uh, the, right, on, as I spawned on blue side, which is the better side for the sniper but the worst side for the um, tank. Uh, what you need to do is you pick up a sniper, run quickly, run through the teleport, and what you'll do is you'll catch people running across the uh, planes heading towards your base or towards uh, their teleport exit, or they come through their teleport exit, in which case you can catch them easily. Now I should have got that kill, but someone else put a bullet on it before I uh, had fortune to uh, destroy it. And what you need to do if you're on blue, so that blue side, um, when you go through teleport, is not stand still. <laughs> what you need to do is run up to this mountainside. The rocks around where your teleport exit is, uh, well, where your teleport exit, yeah, where your teleport exit is, is a good Blade point, but rock. as soon as you make a couple of kills, you need to move away. Now, I see this guy coming with a motion sensor, throw a couple of nades, take him down like, to you, like, without even hitting him with a bullet. That's another thing, you got to use your grenades to your advantage. Blade I pick up his, stolen. go back to my sniper rifle. Now, you'll see I start shooting at the tank's uh, canopy where the guy is. You can actually kill the tank driver and keep the tank intact. Keep the tank intact. <laughs> Listen to me. Um, keep the tank alive so you can, um, you know, take it away from them and use it against them. I mean, two tanks on this map, right there. It, you wouldn't be able to see it, but I sprinted straight into that um, ghost. And I did that mainly because my usual armor will really arm lock. And if you arm lock and someone's trying to ram you, you uh, get big dead blow up basically. But anyway, back to the sniping. Um, sniping now, Blade. sniping along with the DMR Blade. can take out a uh, any Blade. vehicle. To be honest, right here I rush up and uh, do the dis dispose of this. Now, if we'd, if I, we'd been on the other side of those rocks right there, and he fired at the rocks, he would have killed me. So when I, well, no, that's kind of what I was going to say. Right here, I think I'd be get a bit uh, unlucky or unfair. From Bungie, maybe it was lag, I don't know, but none of those hit. I followed it in theatre a couple of days ago, and none of those hit. They were like just about hit, then just like rolled in, into the ground, unfortunately. Right here, I come out with the sniper rifle again. We, the basic role of the sniper in this map is to keep them trapped. I mean, you can basically have command of this entire map with a sniper rifle. Someone comes in the middle, you take the head off. You, someone comes through the, the teleport, they're totally your uh, easy shots. They try and snipe from the top of their building. They're dead. I mean, the sniper is the best tool in this game, but please, 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 if you are bad with a sniper on Halo Reach, please do not pick up the sniper rifle, okay? It's a uh, arm lock glitch. Um, please do not pick up the sniper rifle and think you can snipe. Practice. At least in, um, in, uh, campaign. You get a sniper mission. Practice. There's no need to rush shots straight to try and quick scope. There's no need to uh, like, you know, play play how the sniper was intended. Right here I think I get him. Maybe. No. Uh, but yeah, this is it. See, you can 
Come on, hit him. Hold still. No. <laughs> I'll fast forward it. I think it's the next section I get it. But yeah, I've lost what I thought I was thinking, so what I'm going to do is move on to the sniper's um, the, the tanks roll. The tanks roll basically is to keep them trapped in the spawn and blow up their vehicle. I mean, you can do that with the sniper, sure, but it's more effective with the tank. I mean, you can, I mean, if you spawn on red side, you can put your tank in such a position right off spawn usually to take out their tank as it spawns. I had that happen to me earlier. I wasn't particularly pleased. But we'll, we'll go on. Uh, you basically... <laughs> got to take our flag when you're above him. Not happening. I don't know why I try to return that. It's just stupid. Uh, waste of time there. Uh, but yeah, the tank is to blow up all vehicles. I mean, it's basically... Uh, in, it's sort of invulnerable if the sniper is giving good cover so no one rushes up to him with sprint. Uh, this, this is the bit, this is the bit definitely. I go, uh, take that guy out. I think I put, yeah, I take off the canopy and he goes behind the mountain, but that's okay. Because another tank rolls across the hill. Oh, wait, no, he comes back across. He's hold still for such a second and I take his head off. That can be done with any weapon. Yeah, there's, pre there's precision anyway. I just realized I've been talking for six minutes without even noticing. This is brilliant. I'm getting much better at this, don't you think, guys? I mean, this is what, my tenth game? There we go, I get that guy. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I couldn't do anything there. He, he was boosting, it was, was impossible to stop him. Fortunately, they get the tank back. I don't know why my team was able to get it. Uh, but yeah, back to the tank thing. If you can, you can sit outside their spawn point and basically rain death and destruction onto their base. I mean, if you get a good, a good spawn trap on uh, Blood Gulch Hemorrhage. Uh, also, please tell me if I spelled Hemorrhage right in a title. <laughs> it's just a hard word to spell. Right now I'm going back through with the sniper again. Catch this guy running. Do I? Yes. Reload. I'm taking shots from the right, so I know he's far away because those he's not pure motion sensor. So I take an easy kill off this guy. Look back to see where that guy is that was shooting at me. I missed three shots. Yeah, I missed two, two shots, two shots. Tag him a couple of times. I know he's going to come around to the right. I, I bank a grenade off that rock, so it's perfect running. That was that was uh, that was planned. It was planned. I'm, I'm that good. I'm that good. Unfortunately, I get taken out by their sniper at the enemy base, but that particularly doesn't matter. I'm about to get back to the sniper, and I get I probably have an approximate position of their sniper. Or my team's probably taken them out by now. You never know. Um, but yeah, that's basically how to win in this map. Now, for armor abilities on this map, uh, this is the only map I pick sprint on. I don't pick sprint on any other map. And the only reason I pick sprint on this map is because it's such a big map. And plus, I have to rush to get the sniper. <laughs> but yeah, it's such a big map. Unless you're like a flag runner or a driver, I would suggest you pick sprint. Say you're going for the power weapon, sniper, tank, plasma launch, I got that guy. Unwares on his mongoose. And it beat all the power weapons, you need sprint to get to them, otherwise, take that guy out, trying to gun down a uh, base. But, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, jammed here, some, some guy uh, in Viz. Unfortunately, his Invis runs out, I see him, snap to him, get a couple of easy shots on him, uh, and he dies, and he dropped the mark grenade. And tank rolls up behind me. At this point, I'm calling out to my teammate Frank, who's on most of my gameplays on Reach. And, um, oh, I've got plans for a gameplay. Coming up, it'll be a side by side gameplay remaining. of mine and Frank's gameplay playing one bomber soul on Hemorrhage. Me, him in the tank, and me in the sniper. We, me with the sniper. Now, I'm not sure if he wants to commentate it with me. I mean, that'd be great because we get both perspectives. On how to win this map. I, mean, I I did particularly well. He did particularly well with the um, with the tank. So it'd be, I think it'd be great. I mean, Frank, if you're watching this video, get back to me if you want to do a, a, a sort of a dual com on it. I mean, it'd be great to get your perspective across. Uh, I'm not that. I'm not the best of a tank uh, driver. Game's over. See you guys later. Oh, by the way, the um, before I go, the uh, Minecraft won't be up till uh, the weekend. Because I can't transfer it to my laptop. <laughs>